speaker all the way from United States of America to speak to us on the topic personal branding. Let's welcome our guest speaker, Victor Chiku now. Thank you very much. Y'all welcome to Impact 2022. I want to thank God for this wonderful Global Impact Program. And I also thank the visionary of this program, Pastor Dr. W.F. Komoi. I want to thank the organizers for inviting us to speak at this time. I'll be speaking with Dr. Sam Jolayemi and Mr. Layo Adebayo from Australia. And at this time, we are talking about personal branding. Personal branding. The word branding is very common to organizations, companies, to products, or those who render uh, specific services. A brand is a feature or sets of features that distinguishes one organization from another. Uh, but in today's world, uh, which has become like a global space, uh, we talk about personal branding. And personal branding is what comes first, what comes to people's mind first when they see you or when they see your digital uh, footprints. When we talk about digital footprints, those are the footprints you make when you post something online, when you post a comment, when you reply to a comment, when you react to a comment, or when you are even tagged in a post. You are actually creating a personal brand. You are leaving digital footprints. We end up creating your personal brand. And your personal brand reveals your perspective. It also reveals your core values. It is important to know that your personal brand can either make you or can mar you. So what you put on the internet has become so important that your online projection has become a tool to assess your offline proficiency. Your online profile is a big tool right now to assess your offline proficiency. If you want to look for a job now, once you apply for that job, one of the things they do is that they go online and they check your social media handles to see if you have a good online reputation or online profile. So it is very important you create um, a, a formidable, a, a reputable personal brand online. There is this boy named Farouk. Farouk is a graphic designer. And he decided to design a logo for a mobile uh, company. That is mobile vehicles company. And he tagged the complaint uh, and he said, I'm proposing this logo for your complaint. He did that on Twitter. That post was shared many times until it got the attention of the complaint. And because of the way he branded the logo and he branded himself, he actually had the opportunity to talk to the owner of the complaint. So that is the power of personal branding. On the other hand, um, there was this lady in the United States who got a job with NASA. NASA is National Aeronautics and Space Administration. She was offered an internship. But you know what happened? She got so excited, went on Twitter, and posted that she got this internship, but with a bad language. She used coarse words, as we will say here. And then that got the attention of a top member of the council who tried to correct her on Twitter and said, be careful of your language. But because she did not know who that person was, she replied that person with even a worse language, a worse language, a worse curse word. Do you know what happened? She lost her internship. She lost her job. Why? Because she was not able to brand herself well. So you see, your personal branding can either make you or mar you. 
we cannot ignore the fact that there are some challenges to our personal branding yes i will just mention them quickly we have some psychosocial problems which has to deal with the way you think about yourself so your mental image of yourself can affect how you brand yourself or it can be your the, the the image the mental image of how other people see you can affect how you brand yourself we also have genetic inheritance genetic makeup the way you are built some people are introverts others are extroverts and yes that can affect the way you brand yourself sometimes it could be environmental factors for example um, a lot of people brand themselves based on their background so they allow the culture to affect their personal branding it's one of those challenges that affects the way we brand ourselves the way we grew up the community in where we grew up the people we interacted with while growing up that can affect our personal branding or maybe economic hardship you know with covid cases rising presently or depression on the rise or suicide or poverty unemployment sometimes we take these things and attach them to our brand even as we post on social media and that really affects our personal branding but at this time we are going to look at seven ways to build a reputable brand how can you build a reputable brand one you have to be clean can you tell somebody be clean look at your neighbor and say be clean when we say be clean you have to be sure you have a clean reputation you want to avoid any form of scandal you want to have clean records uh you want to go back to your timeline go back to your feed on the media or online and be sure that there is nothing there that is not in alignment or in correlation to where god wants to take you to so you go back there and clean up anything in the past that is not aligning to your purpose in life so make sure you have clean reputation clean records make sure you have clean results when you present your results outside there avoid manipulating your results make sure you have clean relationship avoid relationship that can implicate your destiny avoid relationships that can implicate your destiny uncleanness will always catch up with you even if you don't catch up with it uncleanness will always catch up with you if you don't catch up with it we have many mighty men big men great men that are falling today because they did not do a thorough cleaning of their past and now it is catching up with them another thing on cleanliness we do is which will make you drive recklessly you will have an abnormal drive in life over here and in many parts of the world when a driver drives recklessly a policeman a cop stops that driver and one of the things they check is to be sure that the blood is clean of alcohol or drugs because when you are not clean you have the tendency to drive recklessly you have an abnormal drive in life so number one be clean number two be consistent consistency is what differentiates a great man from a normal man greatness is built by consistently doing ordinary things in extraordinary ways somebody said that greatness is built by consistently doing ordinary things in extraordinary ways so as you build your personal branding online are you consistent is your message consistent is your mission consistent your manner is it consistent you have to be very sure do you what do you post do you post gospel today and tomorrow you post garbage do you post motivational talks today and tomorrow you are murmuring about the country you have to be consistent avoid controversies avoid things rumors that have not been checked 
You know, one thing you need to tell yourself, and I want you to tell your neighbor this. Tell your neighbor, you don't have to be part of every discussion online. Tell your neighbor that. Say it again. You don't have to be part of every discussion online. There are some times you can be quiet and because you want to be consistent with your brand. So, number two, be consistent. Number three, be competent. Competency is the ability to do something successfully and efficiently. So we have many young people who know how to do things, but they don't know how to do it efficiently. And unfortunately, many young people are looking for connections without competence. So they are trying to connect with people of high regard, and they don't have regard for the work that they do. It is good to network with people that have good net worth. But make sure that you have a net full of good works. It is good to network with people who have good net worth. But make sure you have a net full of good works. You have to be competent in what you are doing. Number four, you have to be credible. That means you are authentic and real as you build your personal brand. Don't put a false image of yourself online. A lot of people online are putting a false image, fake image of who they are. You know what? Fake is never sustainable. Fake is never sustainable. So make sure you are not fake. Make sure you are not fake. The truth cannot be hidden for too long. So make sure you are yourself and make sure you are unique. Emmanuel Unduka, that is the young man that made some news on LinkedIn recently. You see, he branded himself like his role model. His role model is actually the chairman of the Els Holding, the chairman of the United Bank of Africa. Well, it was himself. He didn't have the red socks you can see on the picture on the right. He didn't have the red socks and he didn't have the expensive bags. Because that, those were the signature of his role model. And when he was asked on the media, on LinkedIn, why don't you have your red socks and the expensive bag? This is what he said. He said, I believe the red socks are connected to his brand. And in the long run, I will have my own legacy and finally secure the bag. And he actually secured the bag. You know what happened? After many days and weeks, he was contacted by his role model, the chairman of Els Odin, chairman of the United Bank of Africa. And that role model now became his real mentor. You see, because he branded himself well, but he was unique in branding himself, he was authentic, and he was real. So as you brand yourself online, make sure you are credible. Be credible. Number five be conscious be conscious of the time and be conscious of the people be conscious of the time in which we live the events going on around you remember that your audience are your followers your followers your fans those who like your post are your audience so be conscious be sensitive to your audience at the same time be sensitive to the people you know, we live in a generation where uh, we disagree without knowing how to respect people. So you see online a lot of people write, with all due respect. They start the sentence with, with all due respect. But everything that comes after that first phrase has no respect. That is not the way it should be. Yeah, we can disagree. We should learn to disagree with respect. It's a skill that we all need to learn in this generation. Because you don't know where you're going to be tomorrow. You'll be in high places. And I know with this program, the Lord is taking us to high places. And you'll be in some places where you disagree with policies and you will disagree with strategies. But you need to learn how to do it without disrespecting the person bringing the policy. So be conscious of the times and be conscious of the people. Number six. Be committed to excellence. Excellence is the quality of being extremely good or outstanding. 
Excellence is the opposite of mediocrity. Average is the enemy of excellence. So if you want to be excellent, always think, about, uh, always think about going above the average. Because average is the enemy of excellence. Be committed to excellence in everything that you do. Pay attention to details. Pay attention to details. Detailing is what makes you shine. Detailing is what makes you shine. You know, um, and as you think about excellence, also remember that your idea of excellence is only based on where you've been. So your idea of excellence is based on your exposure. We can see a walk together. Why some people are clapping for that walk, some people are crying for that walk. Do you know why? Because different people have different level of excellence. Your excellence is based on your exposure. So if you want to really reach that standard of excellence, you need to expose yourself to books. Expose yourself to materials, videos that can help you in your field or help your personal brand. Expose yourself to portfolios of people that have worked in your area or those you aspire to be. And so that you can have a good picture of what excellence is. Because the standard of excellence is based on your exposure. So make sure that you are exposed to the right level or standard of excellence. Number seven, and this is the last, you have to be Christ-centered. Yes, we want to build a personal brand, but you need to remember that we are ambassadors of Christ. We belong to a different breed. We are a brand new breed of believers. We have a unique DNA. For we are partakers of his divine nature, DNA. So the fiber optic of our message is grace. We speak light in darkness. We speak peace in chaos. We speak hope in uncertainty. We are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Even though we belong to a different generation, yet we speak the same revelation. Why? Because Jesus is the Son of God. And upon this rock we build the church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against this. So as you build your personal brand, remember that you represent Christ. And as you do this, I believe we will all have wonderful and great personal brands. Thank you so much. Now I hand over to Dr. Jolayemi and Mr. Lyle to answer any questions. Thank you very much. Let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands together for our guest speaker. Our... Is that the best you can do from the Alpha location? <laughs> Praise the Lord. It may interest you to know that Dr. Vitor Chuku, some years ago, was among our youth central youth choir here in Lagos. <laughs> and uh, by God's grace, as I read to you before, at the age of seven, he knew the Lord. And even though he has relocated over the United States of America, he's still standing as